say how proud I am of Derek Henry and uh, all that he's accomplished this year. And uh, he's the first guy to give a lot of credit to a lot of other people and certainly received this on behalf of his entire team and his teammates. And uh, he's been a great ambassador of the University of Alabama, uh, represented our team extremely well and all the other players. And uh, I know that all of our entire organization is really, really happy, happy, happy for Derek Henry tonight for winning the Heisman Trophy. Derek had said that his freshman year, he sort of learned how to deal with adversity in football. It was no longer coming easy to him. What did you see him in his development through that freshman year and into sophomore and junior year, and now he's becoming a dominant player? Well, I remember a conversation Derek and I had when he was a freshman when he was learning pass protections and he was, you know, learning how we went out the mic and how to be a pass receiver and. One day I said something to him and he said, Coach, he said, you know, all this stuff is new to me. He said, all they did in high school was turn around and toss me the ball and I ran with it. So um, I really appreciate his hard work and becoming a complete player, uh, which he certainly has. Uh, and he has developed and improved every year, every year that he's been in Alabama. And I'm sure he'll continue to do that because he's such a uh, fierce competitor, uh, hard worker, uh, really can overcome adversity and um, just have a tremendous amount of respect for the kind of person he is and the kind of character that he has. Coach, you've obviously coached a lot of great players. When one of your players wins the Heisman Trophy, just when you hear his name get called, what was that feeling like? You can't be happier for a young man who has done so much for so long, uh, worked so hard to reach his dreams and his goals. Um, you know, these guys are like family, you know, to us. Um, and, you know, I think it's the feeling that any parent would get uh, when their, their, their children do something that's really, really special. And uh, this is about as special as it gets. So this is as good a feeling as you ever get as a coach. And um, it's really proud for Derek and his family. Nick, I know you mentioned how you always want your players to set a good example, especially the players who are leaders on your team, statistically on the field, all that. How much does this set a positive example for not only Derek's teammates, but also the younger guys that have come out there? Well, I don't see how anybody could represent the University of Alabama and our team and our program uh, in any more of a first class way than what Derek Henry has, not just here in his experience of winning the Heisman, but really in his entire career. Uh, he's never done one thing to ever embarrass the organization, and certainly done many, many things to make us all proud. All right. Nick, you, you've given. Uh, in the ball a ton down the stretch of games, especially late in the season. Can you describe maybe what his impact has been on the success of the team this season? I know it's the team, the team, the team, but he's had a lot to do with that. Well, one of the things that pleases me about Derek being recognized as the outstanding player in college football by winning this award is sometimes as a coach you look at what does a particular player do for his team? And Derek probably did as much for our team this year in terms of how he finished the season, uh, the workload that he carried uh, when we got some other guys injured. and um, he, he always wanted to be there, and he got better as, as, as it went. And um, But he did as much for his team as anybody could have done or ever has done for any of our teams. They're all great team efforts, but when it came right down to it, he, he, he really stepped up and did a great job for our team. Um, 90 touches in the last two games for Derek. It's so unique that a player continues to get better as the game goes on. Have you ever seen a player like Derek in the sense that he can just keep going and the workload just doesn't seem that good? You know, I can't really say that I have. Uh, it's never been our philosophy, and Derek kind of knows this. And I think a lot of you mentioned that, that we've always had kind of two running backs, sometimes three, that really make a huge contribution and we alternate the guys and you know, try to leave a lot of tread on the tires, you know, as the season wears on. But um, when Kenyon got great, got hurt in the Mississippi State game, uh, he was the only other experienced running back. They were kind of a dynamic duo. Uh, Derek just really, and it was really unprecedented for me, philosophy-wise, as a coach to do that. But we were in some tight games and some big games and uh, 
we were ahead of the games. We were trying to take the air out of the ball, and you can't have a better guy to do it with than Derrick Henry. So uh, he did a fantastic job of facing both of those games and helping our team win.